What's poppin' y'all? Roger real deep cool and then y'all caught me, you know, somebody snuck in here and set the camera Caught me in the middle of working on a new CD One of the new CDs I decided that I'm gonna work on the Backlash first Yeah, the Backlash And it's called Tracks What is it called? Let me see what it's called I forgot what it's called, right? I ain't forget your own CD I think it's, uh, okay, okay it's called Tracks from the Library of Flow. The Backlash. Why did I name the Backlash? Because really the tracks that was hanging in the back. And I'm ready to lash them out at you. So it's called the Backlash. Alright, we're gonna bring them tracks out. And these are tracks that are, they're never made on any CDs. That um been this may be my last CD, the last two that I do. I don't, I don't know. Things come up. And I may be still doing production for people and things like that. Playing guitar and bass and doing studio sessions. But for the most part, I gotta stop this. I am... I am uh, probably gonna chill as I do these two and just wait to see what happens. Um, with Real Deep Cool still building out there. With Real Deep Cool still out there doing what it's doing. And it's doing pretty good. You don't need for me to really, really do a real extensive CD of all new songs. Even though what I intend on doing with the other CD, which is going to be called the Select Collection, is there's going to be a compilation of all five of the CDs, and I want to at least do two or three new songs to put along with that compilation uh, of the five CDs that I've already created. And uh, so that's going to be the other part. So I'm going to jump down on it. Uh, man, I tell you, when you stay away from your stuff a long time, you really start to realize, man, that you really need to be back here a lot. Because I haven't really done anything for a whole year. Since I've done my, uh, since I did the Real Deep Cool CD. And I made my transition here to the office. Or with the studio gear. So I haven't even done anything. I hooked the stuff up and, you know, just enough for me to play around. But I, uh, I haven't really hooked it up, hooked it up. And some of the stuff I've forgotten how I had it hooked up. Because I, I, I didn't use a lot of, my total equipment package is not here. This is just enough for me to do production that I need to do. And uh, now they really don't need a lot but me. If you guys have seen my studio or uh, before, you see it's really loaded. It's pretty much like a pro studio. You know what I mean? But it's my pro studio and it has pro gear in it. Like the Focusrite ISA 220. Anyway, so uh, that, that's that dealio. So I'm ready to start my new CD. And like I said, I'm really back here. Uh, Trying to work out the bugs and kinks and stuff I gotta do to start uh, the backlash. And again, the backlash is gonna be tracks that I never used on any of the CDs that sound pretty good. And I think you don't need to let them sit on my hard drive. Just, just put them out there. Let's just spruce them up, do what they gotta do. I may even play a guitar on top of something. I don't know. I might just leave them all just straight instrumental. But uh, whatever I decide to do, that's what I'll be doing. Alright? And just getting off work, I actually came back here and did this. So, uh, I'm ready to get in the shower and uh, get ready to go out and see if it doesn't, I mean, it's, it's not raining hard, but the clouds are unbelievable here. So I'm not sure how this is going to play out. But I want to make it up to Neiman's to uh, take a smell of the um, Colonia Intensa leather. So I want to hurry up and get this done. But, uh, you know, a lot of things happened today. And uh, that's with me testing. And uh, I, wa I wanted to... Um, test these things. I had no idea I was going to really do it now, but I might as well because I might as well give you my impressions of what I tested today. Uh, first of all, what I put on this hand, and I sprayed this on, all these have been sprayed on is 4 o'clock now. Uh, everything got sprayed on somewhere around 9 o'clock. And every I smell everything. I actually smell, still smell everything. The two that are hitting under my shirt, I let them breathe, you know, from time to time today while I was, you know, working and stuff like that. What, what work I did do. I was letting them breathe. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see if I can, see if there's still something left on those. And I think they are, I think I can smell them right now. All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, work, I'm working on them. I'm working on, the, I'm working on the guns. They may look small on the camera, but they really big compared to like maybe this box. See this box? See, as big as this box. Anyway. Um, so anyway, on this hand is uh, Emma Collis Ylang in gold. And, uh, you know, I put up on Facebook about how much I liked it. And someone said, well, I'm surprised you like it. It's so feminine. Well, I made a point to say, well, if that's the case, then 
you know, there's a lot of feminine fragrances that I wear. You know what I mean? It may be for women, may be women and men, but they still have that sweetness thing going on with them. And uh, another one I, I mentioned, I said, well, look, I wear Forbidden Games. Women like the way I wore Forbidden Games. And that, that's definitely feminine, fruity feminine. Um, also, Love. Love is really, really sweet. And of course, the newbie that just came in this week, Angelique Noir, even though that is women and men, that thing is unbelievably sweet. So, um, yeah, for me, ladies, I have no problem wearing a sweet scent. Uh, again, my take is, is that if a woman feels though they, it smells good on them and they can see themselves smelling on them, then they can see themselves smelling on me. Because I'm not worrying about it because I'm a man's man. So a woman's not gonna look at me like, you know, I may be like one of them dudes, you know what I mean? That they're like wearing stuff. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know what you wanna call it, but I'm not one of them dudes, you know what I mean? I'm a man's man. So whatever I put on, I can put on a straight rose and they still gonna know I'm straight man's man. So it's no big deal for me to wear a sweet scent. Keep it right there with that, alright? Ylang Ylang, of course it has Ylang Ylang in it. And there's a couple of sweet things that's happening with I think there's some berries and stuff like that that's in this. And uh, it almost reminds me of the berries that are in Angelique Noir. But this has a different um, grassy note. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if I really didn't like I wouldn't keep going back to it. So I don't care if it's made for women. I wear Memoir Woman. I wear Epic Woman. Come on now. Yo, I know there aren't really sweet scents though. Neither one of those are really sweet scents. But they are classified as being women scents. But ain't nowhere in the world. I don't know how Memoir Woman or Epic Woman end up being just female scents from my watch. They're definitely men and women, automatically. And I had people who bought both of them for me can testify to that. You know, so that's what it is. So your Lang Lang is still popping and I really like it. I really like the sweetness of it. I think it'll be good for the summertime. Um, I don't need too many more Grimans. You know, I think it will be one that I'll consider buying. The $250 which is close, well, which is almost similar to, at least it's 100 mil, and it's similar to the girl I that is paid 75 mil for $265. So the price is still around the same as what it is. Here we have on this hand is Andy Warhol's face. And I call it Andy Warhol's face because it's the one with the face on it with the plum. And this is still kicking too. And I can smell it from about this far away right now, so I'm not the, about two inches away, it's still kicking. Just like your Lang Lang still kicking from two inches away, and we're talking about, man, almost eight hours, easy. They still pumping. What I like about the Andy face is that it has that plum, but it's not the plum like Plum Japanese, and it's not the plum like Oud One's plum from Emma Callis. And that would be my only thing is, since I have, I still have some left, so that'll probably be what I'll probably do tomorrow, is to wear, or maybe I'll wear that tonight. I don't want to spray it out. No, I still just want to test it. I want to spray it out. So um, I have Oud One, which is the old formula, Oud One uh, McAuliffe, and then I have this, and I heard they're supposed to be pretty much the same, and they are because they kind of have the same notes, but who knows? So I'll do that tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll test both of those tomorrow, Oud One by McAuliffe, and um, I'll test our face. Uh, I can get face for a pretty good price and um, you know, it was worth getting. Um, and Oud One is nice too. They both are nice. They have Oud in them. They put in plum, Oud, uh, whatever else. Pretty much the same thing when it comes to some of the notes and the accords. And I, I like both. I really do like Ylang and Gold. It's what it is. I like a little sweet, sweet. You know what I mean? I got, I got some darks. I got sweets. You know, I got patchoulis. Uh, I'm also looking to still jump on that Vetiver 46. The Vetiver 46 is just a sweet Vetiver. It starts off real Vetiver, real grassy, um, with, with a woody type vibe going on with it, with maybe some slight woods, I think, if I can remember correctly. But I really liked it. It's kind of tough in the beginning a little bit, but then after a while, it's, it's cool. It's, it's, it's banging, you know, I have a problem with it. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vetiver 46, I was going to pull the plug on that. Pull the, pull the Yamin on that today, but then I got to thinking about um, Accord Oud, which is here. And Accord Oud reminds me of Roger, Roger Dove's Amber Oud. Now, they're right close to each other, and they both have Oud, we know that. 
And you know, this is like different because this has amber and I don't think Uda Court has any amber at all. They both, I think, have patchouli. I don't know, they're too close. That once again, it's just, you know, I mean, it really is, it's done. To, I don't know, I just don't see the difference. I, I just don't see, I don't see paying, if I had bought this at, at, at 100 mil, me paying $400 more to buy and balloon. It's just ridiculous, it, it really is. Stop, it's, it is, I'm not playing no more. Fatish is on this arm here. And once again, I sprayed both of these like shoo, 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 shoo. Gave him some real good sprays. I still had a lot left from, from uh, Oswald. And I gave him both real nice hot sprays. Like if I was to spray it on my neck, maybe on both sides, same thing. And Fatish still, I don't know what's happening with Fatish for me. Once again, it just smells funky. With, it smells like somebody funky who threw on cologne and didn't wash. It smells like, I don't know, maybe that's what fetish means. Fetish, fetish, whatever. It's not my twist. They have it. And I don't care if it was 200, I don't care if Roger Dub, Amber Ooh was 200, and this is 200. I still, I wouldn't know which one to get. I'll put it that way. Honestly, I wouldn't know which one to get. Cause for me, I, I smell something different in the Accord Ooh. And I smell a little bit of the amber. And I don't smell a lot of amber in amber oud. But if they both cost the same, they both was two hundred dollars. I just wouldn't know which one. I would have to continually test. And there was the only two that I had the choice to buy. Then I would just get that to continually continue to test. That's what I was saying. But seven hundred and two hundred, not even close. Not even close. For teach, I just wouldn't buy it. It's not what I'm doing. And um, what else did I test today? Oh, I had a little bit of soul, uh, uh, soul, uh, 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 D Jedi, a Jedi. I had a little bit of that left. I ain't have enough. I had to try to get it out of my, my, uh, my, uh, what you call it, decant, but it didn't really come out. So, really couldn't test it, test it. But soul's another one. But I, like I said, 50 mil for $300. I don't know. I, I think, and that's almost retail of, um, well, a little bit less. I can get, get it less, which is, uh, Jizzle's Alcott. I don't know. I have so many jig off that maybe I just would want to get a uh, a 777 just to have it. Sevens are my numbers, by the way. That's my number. I like sevens. So uh, it is what it is. But you know, hey, I don't know. I still don't know. Anyway, but the only one I think I do know is is Vetiver 46. I think Vetiver 46. I may just call up on that in a couple minutes when I'm done here. All right. So now let's move on to the box. And most of you know what this is because I told you what it was coming. If you looked at the last video, I told you what was popping. And uh, you know, this collection continues to just grow for me because I continually end up getting really, really good prices and really good deals when I when I purchase uh, this 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 brand. And uh, I like this brand. I could have bought anything I wanted for the price I bought this for, but I didn't. I bought this. And then we open up the box and see it's still in the box. Let's see if I got sent some gifts. Nah. No gifts. But we got some packing stuffings. Okay. Alright, so put that over there on top of the base amp. Let me go open this up and see it's in the box. I would have liked to pick up uh, some uh, 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 the sprayer with this, but you know, and I saved I saved a couple of dollars with this. You know, it wasn't a great great deal, but it was a good deal. And um, this right here with the bottle and the uh, atomizer and the funnel, and now I think Killian, yes, Killian, is starting to put something else in the funnel. They're starting to put like a a, 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 the, the decanter thing, what they call it, you squeeze it out, the transfer thing, because like I said, it's really crazy. I, I've tried, I have two other bottles, and uh, before I had love, before I sold love, it was unbelievable that there was no way you was gonna be able to pour this into the funnel, into your atomizer and hold it. You know, you had a funnel down in here, 
So you had to put the funnel in there and you had to pour it. You just couldn't do it because once the funnel gets filled all the way up and you try to pull it out, sometimes you'll have too much. So if you have, I'm trying to show you this down here. Now if you have too much and the funnel will still have something in it, but this is full, you can't pull the funnel out because you're wasted. So now you have to try to grab the funnel and pour what the remainder is back in there and it's just a mess. So I think they found that out and now they put in this, this squeezy thing. So now you can pretty much just squeeze it out and put it in. You know, or squeeze it to the funnel if you want, however you want to do it. But that's pretty much it. But yes, that's what we have right here. We have sacred wood. This is a 50 mil refill bottle. It's called the resource refill. And um, people you always say when they buy the refill, why isn't it filled up to the top? Well, sometimes 50 mil is not the top. Now this is actually more than when I bought it. When I bought this from, um, when I bought Back to Black um, from uh, 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 Bergdorf, it actually was just above the line. So this may be a little bit more than 50 mil. Woo! Mm. Mm, that thing is stinging. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take some and pour in my decant bottle here and uh, do my spray thing. Now I might wear this out tonight. Let me see if I can possibly just pour a little bit in here now. I shouldn't be doing this. But my skills of decanting. Oh, I feel a little bit on my finger. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got my five mil, Yamina. How to boy 100. I may sell one five mil of this. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's just, you know, it, it says sandalwood and, um, sandalwood and, uh, um, whew, I think it's strong. Sandalwood and, uh, 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 uh um, milk but there's more to it than that you you can smell more in here and i mean that's what fran gretica has up there but if you go to the website if you go to the killing site you see there's actually more in here i didn't even mention incense which is why this is probably so strong off the top you know you just smell like you smell the fire in this you know what i mean yeah i'll probably wear this out, out tonight on my way to um to check out the um to check out the uh uh I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to multitask here to go check out uh, uh, um, the ooh, not the ooh, the leather by Aqua de Palmas, uh Colonial Antissa leather. So I'll wear this out there tonight, so people can say, "Hey, what are you wearing?" You know what I mean? And I'll get to check it. Cause I, you know, I I had like uh, I had four mil of this already that I had gotten from um, from Killian, who sent me like four of them, three or four of them when he sent me the ooh collection. They also sent me the new Imperial Tea and the Sacred Wood. So, um, that's what I got. So once again, Sandalwood. Uh, I was reading an interesting article about how uh, Mysore, is what he's talking about, how um, actually what was trying to, trying to happen with this, it was trying to get, um, really? You probably don't have any feedback. I ain't create a feedback loop on this. I'm sorry, just talking to myself. I'm like, how, how did that happen? That should have been a feedback. Here. All right, that's one of the songs gonna be on there. That's actually called Number One. <laughs> Cause I don't have a name for them yet. I name them as they go along. So that's my first song. Let me save this. Then we're gonna get out of here and bang out. But uh, yeah, I wanna check out the Colonial, Colonial Intensive Leather. Um, the prices on that will be 100 mil will be $210 and uh, let's see 100 mil is $210 and 180 mil will be $265 so if you want 80 more mil you pay 55 more dollars I think what they're trying to do was if you ask me we know that Tuscan leather is the leather. That, that's the one. Now me having Mona Oreo's Cure. Oh my gosh, this is really starting to smell sweet. I think, let me spray a little bit on my, I'm gonna spray it off, but I still wanna spray some on my arm. This thing, this, 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 this sacred wood is the bomb, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, man. I, you know, 
But buy the knees. I mean, you don't need the coffins. I mean, for real, for real, $145 with the sprayer and animals and everything from your, from your store. Buy, buy like that, really, seriously. Not unless you really have to have the coffin and whatever. I have enough coffins. I have so many coffins that I had to take another coffin and put it somewhere else. Because I had too many coffins in, the, uh, in my cage. But uh, you, don't, you don't need the coffin. If you need the coffin, fine. If you don't, this comes with the sprayer, the, um, the funnel, and, and, the, and the, the transfer thing. So you, you may just want to do that, but it's just, it's just crazy. Like when you first spray this, you don't really smell the sandalwood right off. You smell, I mean, you don't smell the dominant sandalwood. Like Santal 33, you smell a real dominant sandalwood that comes right out of that. That's right, bang, right in your face. You know what I mean? Lock it up, pull it back. I forgot to do that. Holla at your boy. What's cracking? What's going on? Huh? Okay, now I'm back. So, um, yeah, this, this, this is really, really a, a deep fragrance. And I think that, um, there's not a lot of shine on it, and again, it doesn't come out with this great sandalwood hit, but um, I just really think, I ain't sprayed a lot, I sprayed two. It's really pretty, it's really a pretty, pretty scent, and it's strong, and it's, um, from, what I, from what I remember, it really wore well, it really wore well, I'm going to find out more today, I'll let you know later on in the next, when I get the next piece in, where I'll talk about it more, but at this particular point, um, if I remember correctly, it wore six to eight hours pretty doggone good. Six to eight hours really, really good. You know what I mean? So I, I think it's really worth it. Um, but this Ylang and Gold is just, yo, man. If you, if you like Gourmands, I'm trying to tell you. You want to get into Emma Califf, you like Gourmands, Ylang and Gold. If you want a sandalwood, it's not quite Mysore because Mysore is now an endangered, endangered, uh, 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 ingredient now, so you can't get Mysore. And for what I understand, I can complete the story. You know, y'all know I'll go here and go there. Um, that uh, Khalees tried to um, try to imitate Mysore by by or create her own Mysore because you can't get it anymore by putting these ingredients together and trying to give it like putting milk in it. Um, there's another one. The instance, this was totally separate from what she was trying to do and make it a Mysore. But that's what she was trying to do. And for me, since I've never smelled Mysore before, I have no idea. Maybe one day I get to smell something with Mysore in it. But at this particular point, right now, this smell is it's definitely a sweeter type smell. It doesn't smell like Santal 33, which is really, really manly. This is not really that manly. It's really nice. It sits on the skin good. Still got a nice shine on the skin. You can really see it. It's almost like it's burning a hole in my skin. But, um... Yeah, check it out. I'll give you more on it. You know what I mean? Or look it up yourself if you want to look up the notes and everything on it. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to wear tonight. Sacred Wood from By Killian. And uh, now, I'm not going to buy anything else. I pretty much have everything I pretty much need from them, from the line. I may want to get some more of something else. Like maybe Cruel Intentions and Back to Black. I may. Right now, I think I'm down to about 20 mil of both of those. And um, I want to get an Oud. I want to get Musk Oud. And I think either muscoot or amber oud and I'll be done. One or the other though, it could be one or the other, but preferably I want muscoot and then maybe amber oud, okay? So that's about it, man. I'm ready to come out of Pro Tools for the cats who want to know what I'm doing when I do this. Basically what I'm doing now is for the musician cats or the studio cats or the cats who want to get in this. Basically my computer, uh, my computer, I'm not using the interface for my computer because uh, I didn't feel as though I need to buy one because I already have other interfaces for my total system. Um, so I don't need any interfaces. I have the Nuendo RME interface, which is a classic. Can't even get crystals like that anymore. They're trying to make them. They try to act like they're telling you they're making better crystals, but you don't, there's nothing like the original crystals. And uh, I have that Super Grammy winner MR816 Yamaha with Steinberg collaboration, and that that not more crystals, man, unbelievable. Eight channels, both of them eight channels. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the regular audio out. I have it coming in here, RCA, into my Aphex. And Aphex, what that does is, it actually takes something from RCA and, and boosts up the line level to plus four, and that's giving me plus four in the back of that. I'm coming out of the back, XLR. All right, so I'm coming in, RCA, it goes into the Aphex, and the model number for the Aphex, 
for you guys don't know, the 124A. So you do have anything RCA and you want to boost it up to, to pro level and come out of RCA level, which is minus 10, and you need something to bust it up to plus four, this is what you want to use. It's clean, efficient, and you can use the dials and you have a ground on there as well and a reverse. And uh, that's what I do. So then once I do that, I put that into my patch bay and I'm patch baying out into, into the Steinberg. The Steinberg is now hooked up as a FireWire interface in the Pro Tools. Bam, Pro Tools. Right in the Pro Tools right now. That's what we have now. That's what we have. Hit play. Maybe. No. Oh, because I don't have this hooked up. But anyway, hit the play and uh, go to play. Yeah, yeah, sometime today. Alright, so that means the stream is analog to digital. And once it goes into digital, I go 24 bit in the Pro Tools. When I come back out, I come back out 16 bit. 16 bit into the Alicia's Master Link. 16 bit. Make the CD. CD, you buy it. You love it. You enjoy it. Pat that out. That's it. That's all I got to tell you. Now let's lock it back up with the sacred wood. Uh, get the bottle. You don't need the coffin. I just want to get some coffins. Get that bottle. Nice. You're laying, you're laying in, in, in gold and mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Andy Warhol face and uh, the oud accord, accord oud by Radar. Mm-hmm. Then you have some Roger Dove amber oud. Roger Dove fetish. Soul Di Jetta by Stefan Humbert 777. That's it. That's all I got to tell you. I got to be out. We transfer this to that so you can do that so you can listen to it. And then by that time, by the time you listen to it, y'all know what a great dude.